All right, let's go now to something really strange that happened in the last two days involving the former president, Bill Clinton. Listen to what he said on WHYY on radio in Philadelphia on Monday. I had a story on Morning Edition this morning which talked about how Philadelphia's black political leaders came out early in support of Senator Clinton, uh, but several have switched. And one was quoted as saying the turning point for her was during the South Carolina primary when you referenced Jesse Jackson and what she interpreted as marginalize, marginalizing Obama as the, the black candidate. I mean, do you think that was a mistake, and would you do that again? No. I think that they played the race card on me, and we now know from memos from the campaign and everything that they plan to do it all along. And now let's to Bill Clinton on NBC's Mike Memolo, what he said to our embed, our reporter today. Thank you. Yesterday when you said that the Obama campaign was playing the race card on you. When did I say that? And to whom did I say it? On WHYY radio yesterday. No, 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 no. That's not what I said. You always follow me around and play these little games. And I'm not going to play your games today. This is the day about Election Day. Go back and see what the question was and what my answer was. You have mischaracterized it to get another cheap story to divert the American people from the real urgent issues before us. And I choose not to play your game today. Have a nice day. My daughter was a conventional pigeon. Your administration. Thank you. I said what I said. You can go back and look at the interview. And, and if you'll be real honest, you will also report what the question was and what the answer was. They asked but if you regretted, I'm not helping they regretted you comparing Jesse Jackson to Barack Obama on the day after the South Carolina primary. Well, thank you and so I pointed much. out that I did not do that. Well, my daughter was a congressional page. And that I complimented them both. And that Jesse Jackson took no offense on it. And I called him myself. I said, well, did you find this offensive? And he said no. Well, we call that in Philadelphia attitude. I think I pronounced it right in the old way, attitude, uh, because there's the president's attitude. His problem is that we have a tape of what he said yesterday, and it's exactly what our embed, our reporter, said he said, even though he denied it categorically. Let's listen again to what the president said on WHYY radio, because he had said it yesterday. Let's hear what he said on Monday, the president. I had a story on Morning Edition this morning which talked about how Philadelphia's black political leaders came out early in support of Senator Clinton, uh, but several have switched. And one was quoted as saying the turning point for her was during the South Carolina primary when you referenced Jesse Jackson and what she interpreted as marginalize, marginalizing Obama as the, the black candidate. I mean, do you think that was a mistake, and would you do that again? No. I think that they played the race card on me, and we now know from memos from the campaign and everything that they plan to do it all along. I don't know what to say, except that the president, the former president of the United States, just denied what, it, what was undeniable. Well, look. Is there any explanation for why he said what he didn't he, say when he did say it? He has been personally offended at this idea that he's been couched as somehow been turned into a racist. That's what he believes has happened to him, and he's bitter about it, and he's angry about it, and I think we saw a little bit of that anger about that today. Clinton campaign was pushing back heavily, saying, and he's referencing this memo that he's talking about. There's a couple yeah, of you're, memos. You're, you're, you're getting involved in a complicated Clinton explanation. I just want to this ask you. This was a you, straight up. Let me, go, let me go back to you again. Did the president, or did he not, say on radio in Philadelphia yesterday that the Obama campaign played the race card against him? Yes, he did. Right. And then this morning, talking to our reporter, he denied having said that. I'm just going to the fact here, not the argument. He did, but if you parse what he said to our uh, reporter, you can make the argument he said, well, no, 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 I didn't say it that way. You're mischaracterizing it. So he's, I think he left himself wiggle room. There. Well, I'm not sure he built the usual escape hatch that Bill Clinton likes to build. Let me go to Perry Bacon. He said that the Obama campaign played the race card, and then he said today he didn't say that when, in fact, we have the tape of him saying so. How do you defend the Clinton argument here? I don't know how defensible it is. I, you know, I agree with Chuck. He's just, he's very frustrated about this. He's been, he and his wife have both been very frustrated. They've been criticized and they believe could portrayed as racist for what, what he said down there. And I think that he's just very frustrated about that. And he's been frustrated about for, that for a long time now. Let me go to uh, Tucker Carlson. How do you explain the disconnect between what uh, Bill Clinton sees as recent memory and the tape recording shows to be recent events? Well, it's, it's not surprising to anybody who's covered Clinton uh, in the past. Obviously, a lot of talents, a lot of strengths, good president in some ways, but this is consistent with his, his public behavior for a very long time, going way back to Arkansas. I spoke yesterday just to a, a very close friend of his who said what we already know, which is he's not just angry but seething with anger, and I think, I think that comes out. The brass, however, of him to say, after going and uh, on tape twice, 
comparing Barack Obama to Jesse Jackson, a political figure with whom he has nothing in common other than the color of his skin, nothing else. Uh, after doing that in public, claiming that the Obama people are the one who are playing the race card is almost unbelievable. I mean, most people, normal people don't have that much chutzpah. They, they couldn't summon it. They couldn't say that with a straight face. He not only says it, but believes it. it it's remarkable. Whenever he puts that finger up, I'm always suspicious as to the veracity of his about to say statement, because he did deny what he had said before when the tape recording, the Memorax tape recording revealed the truth. What do you think? Well, I'll just say this on this race card stuff. The fact is both campaigns have tried to subtly get use race in a way that has been advantageous advantageous to them it's very subtle ways behind the scenes both campaigns have done it and what they do is they get into this game of gotcha going aha publicly see you're playing the race card you know either the obama campaign to the clintons or the clinton campaign to the obama campaign and the fact is they both have tried to use it to their advantage obama has campaign has stoked the fires when they think they they've caught bill clinton doing something like something like this they will stoke the fire see we told you he'd play this race card whenever he could and then the Clinton campaign will say no look what they're doing behind the scenes and oh by the way maybe this guy has electability issues so it, it, both of them are, are playing that neither neither side is innocent here well it's amazing to watch I thought I thought we did catch him there denying the undeniable but apparently it's more complicated in the mind and the soul of the Clintons anyway here's uh, Senator Obama making his comment in Pittsburgh today reacting to that back and forth between Bill and the memory of Bill so, former President Clinton dismissed my victory in South Carolina as being similar to Jesse Jackson, and he's suggesting that somehow I had something to do with it? Okay, well, you better ask him what he meant by that. I have no idea what he meant. These were words that came out of his mouth, not words that came out of mine. Did your campaign have some kind of plan, or were there memos that suggested playing the race card on you? Was there something that that we had a plan to get him to say that my campaign was like Jesse Jackson's? I, you know, I, I don't know what he's referring to, unfortunately. Well, in all fairness, it seems to me that Barack Obama doesn't want the race to be an issue in this campaign. No, he doesn't, but that doesn't mean that his campaign hasn't wanted to try to punish the Clinton campaign whenever they believe they've used it in a, in a way that was trying to get votes one way or the other.